His Excellency President Yuel Kenyatta has expressed his sincere condolences and deepest sympathy to all those affected by the devastating effects of the ongoing heavy rains and floods, which have caused widespread destruction across the country. The recent floods in Nakuru, Nairobi, Hama Bay, Garissa, Kisamu, Mombasa, as well as various parts of Central, Eastern, and Rift Valley counties, have resulted in numerous deaths, destruction, and despair. The former head of state, said, the relentless rainfall has caused significant damage, displacing families, destroying infrastructure, and claiming precious lives. During this time of profound loss and despair, my thoughts and prayers are with the affected communities as they cope with the aftermath of this natural disaster. The former president highlighted the urgent need for solidarity and collective action to alleviate the suffering of our fellow Kenyans in distress. He called upon all citizens to unite in providing support and assistance wherever possible. Furthermore, it is through our shared determination and compassion that we can help rebuild lives and restore hope amidst this disruption. In a compassionate and supportive gesture, Kenyatta has pledged a personal donation of two million to the Kenya Red Cross Society. He stated that this contribution is intended to bolster relief efforts and provide essential aid to the affected families, offering them some comfort and solace during these difficult times. As a nation, we must stand together in the face of adversity, demonstrating compassion, resilience, and solidarity with one another. Additionally, he emphasized the crucial need for all Kenyans to remain vigilant and cautious amidst the dangers posed by flooding. He urged citizens to exercise utmost care, avoid crossing flooded roads or pathways, and, most importantly, seek higher ground when necessary to ensure their safety and well-being. Recognizing the ongoing challenges within the healthcare sector, the former president urges volunteer medical professionals and healthcare providers to step forward and assist the sick and injured. He acknowledges the dedication and commitment of all healthcare workers and emphasizes the importance of addressing their concerns through constructive dialogue and meaningful engagement.